Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Monica and um, I'm going to start vlogging. I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. I am 26 years old. I live in Cleveland, Ohio. I love to snowboard. I love cool clothes. Um, I'm working on my degree in interior design, so I'm really getting into... I'm almost at the end of it, so I'm really getting into some really cool stuff and kind of really finding my style and finding my niche in that. So I'm definitely going to share some stuff about that. Um, but it's winter time and I love the winter and I travel a lot in the winter. So I really just wanted to start documenting that and sharing that and hopefully like finding some connections on that as well. I'm definitely going to do some traveling. Um, but I've been snowboarding for about like 15 years probably now and... Um, I'm kind of, I'm really not that good at it, but I am relearning. I had a really, really bad snowboarding accident, um, a few years ago, and I just wanted to make sure that, like, you know, I just still took advantage of being young and living my life to the fullest, so, um, I've just been relearning, especially the past year, um, and I just really, really want to, like, share that and share my journey and maybe share some tips and things that I've learned in the past year or so going into this season, um, that might be helpful to you. I've talked to a lot of people who really, really want to learn how to snowboard this year, so, um, I'm really hoping I can build a community and, you know, a place for you to, you know, start learning, especially, like, if you're my age. It's never too late. Um, but I'm gonna do some cool stuff. I'm really tired today. I haven't stopped working all week, and um, but I've really had a lot of stuff on my mind, and I'm just really excited about this new year. I definitely want to talk about um, like my goals that I'm setting this year, and you know, show you some cool outfits that I've put together going into the new year, especially some cool outfits that I'm going to use or going to wear on my um, snowboarding trips. So yeah, I'm really starting to find um, my personal style and I'm really starting to um, really just like be confident with who I am. And I was really, I've always really wanted to post, but I've always been really scared. And for some reason, within the past few weeks, I've just really haven't really cared what people think. And, you know, I really haven't been afraid to put myself out there. So yeah. Definitely going to talk about it. I went snowboarding yesterday, and um, here in Cleveland, there is there are two resorts. They're really small, but they're so cute, and they're actually really, really good to practice on. Um, I went yesterday. We got a little bit of snow, and they started snowmaking, so I have a little bit of footage from that. Nothing on the mountain because I didn't want to bring my camera on the mountain, and I don't have my GoPro set up yet or my boyfriend's GoPro set up yet, um, but... It's definitely really cute. I have a little bit of footage, um, but I definitely got to get some good turns in. I got to practice. I definitely took a few <laughs> spills, um, but it was just really good to get out there. It was really good to, you know, see people out and see people moving and get myself moving. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Today is the first day that I am going to Boston Mills here in like Cleveland, Ohio area. Um, it is cute and small and I'm just really excited that I got to leave work early today to come here. There's snow making. So good. So I'm getting like fitted up right now. I'm really excited. We got a little bit of snow. Um, last night so just super excited to get out there and get some turns in because I go to Vermont in like two weeks and yeah it looks kind of crowded but you know super excited to get out there
a really good job yesterday. Boston Mills Brandywine, they are really good places to learn. This year, I really want to learn how to do some cool jumps. I Last year, I really learned how to carve, which is like, you know, really having a flow down the hill and not stopping so much and really just riding with the mountain. Um, this year, I really want to get some jumps in, get some good turns in, and do some really cool stuff. So I hope that that's what I can achieve this year. Last year, my goal was to get a nice flow, um, and it had, it happened just out of practice. So I'm really hoping to get a lot of turns in this year. I'm really hoping to spend some time in the snow. Um, I'm definitely going to do some videos in the future of, like, if you're a new snowboarder, where should you go? Um, what should you wear? Where do you get, how do you rent stuff? Where do you go? It can be super, super overwhelming. Um, you know, maybe some tips and tricks about like where to buy stuff at, when to buy stuff, how much you should be spending on stuff, um, and things like that. Because it can be very, very expensive and a little overwhelming. Um, so maybe just some tips and tricks like that. I'm also going to show some stuff, like some outfits and stuff that I would wear like afterwards. Uh, yeah. But that's pretty much it. I'm really glad that, you know, I'm doing this and I'm really glad that you guys are here to watch and, um, we'll see where it goes. So everything I see... For moon boots, I see people style moon boots like this. Everything I see for moon boots, they're styled with like a one piece and just the moon boots, which I think is super cute, but I'm actually getting really tired of seeing it. I think it's so basic, and I think that moon boots deserve so much better than um, just, you know, this basic. If you do choose to wear your moon boots like this, we need to like spice it up a little bit more. This is how I would make this outfit look less basic, more like put together, a little more cute but still cozy. If you do cho choose to go with like the one piece, um, like the whole one piece, I would add like a cute puffer to it, um, like a cute hat and a cute scarf. I see everybody do like the earmuffs and I think that's super cute too. Um, but kind of like try to have your own personality. I think it's cute to like copy stuff that you see on Pinterest and whatnot, but you know, maybe add a pop of color in there. That's what I try I've been trying to do. I'm usually like a neutral girl. Like this is so cute. You know, you just made this level up just so much more. So cute. I mean, I do get why this is super cute, but like, there's so much more you can do with moon boots. They're like my favorite thing ever. Super simple, just adding, you know, um, I get a nice baggy pair of jeans and like a cool hoodie. This really does the trick. Like, it's so simple, but it's so, so cute. I just got these jeans from H&M. I literally love them. They were like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. So cute. But it's just so simple, and it just makes the look, like, come together a little bit more. Um, it gives it more of, like, an effortless style, like a cool girl style, which is really what I'm trying to go for. Just, like, cool and chill. We like it. Oh, I hate these things. Just building off of this past style, like just elevating it just a little bit more, like just a basic t-shirt. Like it's just so simple, but it looks so like effortless, so cool. Oh my God, I hate these little things. This is another thing I just got from H&M, but it's just so good. You can add a puffer to it. Like it just looks like, I don't know, I would definitely wear this on like one of my ski trips that is coming soon. It's so cute.
like just very put together but still like really casual really chic i would even add like some cool jewelry hang on really cool pieces like i got this on amazon so cute you see it literally so cute So yeah, just like adding some cool necklaces just can really like make it look so cool. Like even just that one alone. So, so cool. So easy. I love this. I cannot wait to wear this outfit somewhere. Someone go somewhere cool with me. I'm really into like wrong shoe theory right now. And if you don't know what wrong shoe theory is, it's like not like wearing the right shoes to match the outfit. So like wearing a dress and sneakers or like wearing like high heels and sweatpants. Um, so I think moon boots are like a really good way to like do wrong shoe theory. So I would wear it with like this dress. I think it would be so cute. Um, again, it's just so casual. I really love like just an effortless like, hmm, I wasn't really trying, but like I look really cool. I showed up here really cool today. That's like what I always try to go for. Um, but yeah. I don't know what else I would wear with this. I think, let's see, like the puffer looks cool with it. Like maybe the puffer. I don't like want to overdo it and be like, make it look weird. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of put the mom in there. Who knows? Let's see if this looks good with it. I just got this from Express. Mm, I don't like this one, but maybe separate. I think maybe just by itself it looks cool. Do some cool necklaces, maybe a scarf. Very fun. So this is the last way, just for today, that I would style my moon boots. Just, again, I just love to be so cozy casual. Um, just some really cute sweatpants, really nice sweatpants, a basic, and um, this fur vest I just got. So cute. Yeah, I really like this. And this would obviously look cute with jeans too. I can do a jean look too. Um, but I think this is just like how I would style them, style them that's just not leggings. I think we see a lot of leggings um, styled with moon boots and I think it's just so much better if you just like branch out just a little bit or just like add some accessories. Don't go with like the norm, but it's just so cute this way. I love moon boots. <laughs> I got them for Christmas two years ago. Um, not this Christmas, but like last Christmas and they are one of my favorite gifts I've ever gotten. I thought they were so thoughtful. I thought they were so fun. Like, look at how cute. They're always a conversation starter. I'm telling you, no matter where you go, people are going to say something about your moon boots. Okay, I was actually just wrapping up, but like, look at just a cute sweatsuit. If there's one thing you take from me, I hope that you just wear cool outfits, you wear what you want, you do what you want, you do cool things, you don't let yourself get too old and, you know, stop doing the things you used to love or stop dreaming. I really just hope I can inspire you to just live your life to the fullest and be super cool. So thank you again for watching. If there's anything you would like to see or you want any links to my outfits, you can find them in my bio, you can find them on my Instagram, um, all in the caption here. The mess after doing an outfit video.